If you are watching this right now, you must be looking for inspiration to create your next dashboard project. Over here, we have tons of inspiration that you can actually borrow from to create something amazing. If you do use Excel, Power BI or Tableau to create, you know, dashboards or reports, this is the best website for you. Not just that, we're going to set up a portfolio and uh, see how you can actually join those particular lots of people across the world to showcase your own skill as well to prospective employers or clients. So I'm going to get you started by showing you lots of it. So you can see this one right here is live. You can navigate through it. I'm going to show you how you can actually do something like this as well. Set up your account from the scratch and show you everything you need to do when it comes to account you know setup so the next thing to do right now is to set up an account how do you set up an account here okay let's get you up to speed so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna cancel this so if you look at this now we have this particular part here when you click on it you can log out so i'm going to log out from this account so now we start afresh from the scratch so clicking on this particular sign up here is going to actually sign up to a new account so here we are this is the previous account we have here i'm going to clear it off to actually create a newer account so we have our email and password here so click on continue via email so once you actually continue via email you're going to receive an email that actually gives you your new username and your password so you're going to have a new password that password is what you're going to use to log in and change your password to whatever you like after all so we have just got our account created to verify it click right here and click on my settings here then from my settings you can actually click on this particular part and you see the email you have just entered so our aim is to actually link this particular novi pro account to power bi service how do we link to power bi service is it actually necessary? Yes, of course, it's necessary because if you're looking to Power BI service, you don't have any kind of, you know, uh, issues with sharing your report over here. Otherwise, you need to actually have admin, you know, authority before you can do that. So let's do it. So the next thing you're going to do is to click over here. So you see where it says Power BI, click on the Power BI and uh, here you are. So on Power BI here, if you go to your email right now, you should receive an email that you can actually use over here to verify this before you can start processing your account with Power BI service. So what you need to do first is for you to click on this particular send verification code. I've just done that and I'm going to go to my email right now to check that and come back to you. So I've just entered the code and I'm going to hit the enter key to actually verify it and it has been verified 100%. So we are now ready to go. So this is the very stage you need to complete first. So it is time for we to actually start getting into Power BI service and see how we can actually, you know, create our account. So the very first thing we do is to open a new tab. On this new tab, we search for Power BI service. On the Power BI service, you're going to have something blank as this, so you need an email. So this email will be the email that the Navi Pro provided into your email box. So to get that email, let's go ahead and send the email to our email from here. So click on this particular part here and go over to Power BI. Once you click on that, you have this. Now you need to create a Power BI account from here. I click on create. So give it some time and actually check your email for the email that they're going to send to you, your password and your new username. So once you have that, we can proceed to the next level. Okay, you're going to receive an email that has your password, which is this password here and uh, your new username. Your username is going to be the combination of your uh, your original email that you use in signing up to Novi Pro with novipro.com, you know, as part of it. Then you have this password. This password might be something very hard for you to remember. Don't worry. You can always change this password to whatever you feel like. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this email is what you're going to get to use right now 
in our next you know procedure so back to the power bi we up and down so we need to sign into power bi so the email we're going to use is actually the new email that was sent to our main email so here is it that has navi pro so i'm gonna actually click on next so it's look it's requesting for password for the password check the same email you have your password right in there so once you paste in your password click on sign in and let's look at it so here we go we can now try to change our password so this is the current password we've just used i'm gonna paste it over here then now we create a new password so we have just signed in and uh, we are required to some kind of use an authenticator which is microsoft authenticator app so you need to actually have it downloaded on your phone so i, I, I use it always i have it on my phone already so the very first thing you have to do is to click on next here so you're gonna have to choose the account you want to use so i have lots of account i choose this one here and the next thing is for me to click on next So let's wait for it. So it's taking us there. So we have this, click on next. So next again. So here you go. Sometimes it wouldn't work at the first try. So what you have to do is to try it over and over again. And I'm gonna show you the trick to get that, you know, bypass, you know. So over here, I just clicked on the plus sign on my authenticator. And I try to capture this and it says to me, cannot interpret QR code. That is an error, okay? So what do you do? You can decide to click on can scan image. So it's going to give you this particular code. When you enter it, it might give you an error. It depends on your location or whatsoever. So what I will do is to click on back. So and uh, click on back again. I want to use a different authenticator app is what you click on so once you click on that now make sure you get your what you get your authenticator on your smartphone ready so click on next here and now you can scan so we have been successfully you know allowed in so the next thing is for you to click on next over here so when you click on next over here is going to be requesting for the password you have just you know received on your new authenticator uh, which is on the smartphone, right? So if I click on it right now, I have 600542. Uh, so I'm going to type it in here. 600542. So hit my enter key or you can click on next. So remember, it's one time password. So once it expired, you always have to some kind of wait for the next one to get generated again. So we have it here. We need to actually have our phone number right in. So now we have just used our phone number and we are expecting to receive, you know, a code. So if the um, number doesn't go, you can always switch to Gmail to verify by Gmail. And it will definitely ask you to put in your Gmail here to actually get verification before you can actually pass this stage. So once you have just put in your password, either email or phone number, all you have to do is to make sure you verify it. So once verified, then you are good to go. You can definitely click on done here. And the next thing you do, click on done again. So we are 100% good to go. So the next thing again is to click and choose the account from those accounts we have here. So wait for it. So we need to actually have this verified and verification of this one is going to be our authenticator again. So I'm going to go through my authenticator to get my new uh, code in. It's one time code. If it has expired, wait for the next one to get generated. So I have a new one. It's about to expire. I'm going to wait a while for it to finish. Then I get a new one. Okay. I have four, three, three, one, eight, two. So here yeah, I verify. So always keep me signed in.
So I'm going to tell you firsthand that we have just set up our account. The next thing right now is to use this account on Power BI Desktop to make sure we publish a particular, you know, um, either report or dashboard. So what you need to do, if you click over here, you can see all the accounts that I have. So copy this particular, you know, new email sent to you by Novi Pro. So this is the email you're going to actually make use of inside Power BI Desktop. So let us go ahead and head to Power BI Desktop. So I'm going to cancel this and over here, I'm going to just say use a different account. So I'm going to paste in my different account here and I'm going to hit continue. So the next thing you do is to scroll down and choose work or school account, then click on continue. So we provide the same email we have just created and uh, we hit on next. So the next thing is for we to provide the password we created. So remember we changed our password. That is the password we are going to paste in here, not the password we received inside our email. That one has been changed. If you use it again, it's not going to work. Use your new password. Make sure you remember it, store it somewhere and always get it from there. So once you have your password typed in, go ahead and sign in. So this should actually allow us to sign in right now to our new account. Just wait for it. We should see our new account name over here where it says signed in. So, so if you receive this particular warning, wherever it is, just click on continue. So we don't have account on the list yet. So click here and click on continue. So go ahead and click on next, your password again. So I'm going to type it in. So I sign in. So this time around, we should be able to be good to go 100%. So what do we do next? It is time for we to actually publish this and make sure we share this to our new Navi Pro account that we can share to the world and share to any prospective employers or clients out there to see what we have done and what we are capable of doing when it comes to dashboard creation. So hit the publish you know, button right here and click on save. So wait for it and have it published to this new account that we have. So just use this particular My Workspace here, it's the default one. You know, select that and let's see it. So it's actually on the way. So you have just gotten yourself a new account to publish your work to the world. Irrespective of what you use, Excel, Tableau, Power BI, just make sure you do that. So we can now see, copy this particular, you know, URL right here. You can just right click to copy it or you can click on it to open it on the browser. Add of it. So here we go. Let's come here and see. So it's opening Power BI for us. So we have to log in and uh, choose our account. Our account is this one. So let's wait for it. It's signing in into this. So it takes a little processes to get all of this set up. But once you are done with it, that is all. So now we have it right here. We have our Power BI. So welcome to reports in Power BI. So take it talk. Is optional if you already know the interface you don't need to do that so i'm just going to cancel that so now we have this as you can see we can interact with this i have this particular tutorial on my youtube channel you can take a look at it and see what we have done right here and how you can actually create something as beautiful as this as well so check out my youtube channel to see exactly what i have for you guys okay now we have this it is time to share to our new account so what do we do for the first time so you go over to what you go over to this particular place where it says file so click on that and um, try to see where it says embed report and you see publish to web right here so when you click on publish to web this is what you see read through this to know what you're about to get into if this is uh, some kind of a uh, sensitive data don't do it and one warning i will be giving to you don't use your client's data to publish to Navi Pro for the world to see. 
that is not healthy. So use something that you did personally that cannot affect any person or organization or company. So any private data should not be shared over here. Let it be your own personal data that you know you have no trouble with sharing. So now go ahead and click on continue. If you are very satisfied that this will not affect anybody, go ahead and publish. So now you are here. The next thing you do is to copy this very one. Don't copy this one. So this is for website that uh, is going to be using HTML. But for now, we're going to click on copy and we have just copied this particular URL from here. So just click on this and uh, you choose Power BI and over here you paste in the new link and automatically it's going to try to search for this and if it is available it's going to display it right there 100 percent for you so it's actually opening let me take you down and after that you can actually you know have the cover photo right here so we have it already it's very dynamic so we can click here to go to a different page on this particular report dashboard so we can click here to open the filter and uh, we can filter it and you see it's very dynamic so we can unfilter and we can have it closed so that actually give people the ability to navigate through exactly what you have created and see your own insight and believe in you to hire you or to give you a particular job so you can write a title for it here you can some kind of write some kind of description over here for it and all of that so once you are done hmm that is beautiful all you have to do is to make sure you hit the publish button right here. You can't publish right now because we have not imputed everything we need to. I'm not going to go through that particular process. This is just the idea you need to have. So now you are going to be logging in with what? When you want to log in to Navi Pro, you log in with the Gmail you're using signing in and the password you created when you actually sign up for the first time. Then when you want to publish, you use the one that they sent for you and the password you changed to when you actually created your account. I think it's very simple, something like that. So it's exactly what it is. So now you can actually come over here and take a look at those particular projects that we have here. So look at them and see what inspiration you can actually draw from all of those reports. I you always use PowerPoint to create my you know our background i can use powerpoint to create this exact background that you are seeing right now i will replicate it exactly but i don't used to do that what do i used to do i just pick one or two three different you know uh background templates or dashboards out there and try to pick inspiration from them so it's not for you to just copy exactly what they have no that is not how it works you just do some kind of touch 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 and all of that so before you know you have what you want so come in here to look at how this works and one beautiful thing i love about this is that you can always click on this particular linkedin you you have there so if you can't find the linkedin being or the LinkedIn contact being linked somewhere around here. Click on this particular mic here as the person's name, and it's going to take you to the about page. 